everybody welcome to this video where i am going to explain everything that i learned so far in lords mobile so basically when you already know everything which you basically don't um then it's fine if you have like 100 million might then it's fine too but if you're just starting this game and you want to check out useful tips that are going to help you getting to some higher might then this video is probably pretty useful I'm just going to rush on every fact that I want to tell you. I don't know how long it takes, but it's definitely worth your time if you want to start playing Lords Mobile actively. So first of all, let's start with our heroes. Um, what I didn't get in the beginning, there are um, two different things. The medals. Let's get to another hero here. The medals. You can rank them up. They are increasing your skills and the ranks. So... Um, let me really quick show you what they are for. So the ranks basically show, so this one here, you have to equip everything. And they um, increase the strength of your heroes when you are fighting. So in the Colosseum um, versus um, monsters on the map, uh, something like this. And um, the medals, they increase your boost. So you can click on your boost then and you can see, it depending on the medals, um, how big the boost is going to be so for example i maxed this one here research boost plus 25 percent this is amazing and you can see there are two different uh, symbols um regarding the boost so if you are seeing a castle symbol then this boost is um activate as soon as you get this hero you don't have to select him and the other ones are activated when you send this guy into battle with your troops or when you have him as an active leader so don't use for example the trickster as a leader because you are always getting those three boosts even though if you have don't have him as a leader okay so the next one i want to talk about is when you get on the map and you are hunting for monsters so let's see here the hell rider when i'm hunting for this you can see i'm not using my best heroes even though I got a lot of level 56, I'm currently level 56 heroes, I'm not using them because they aren't dealing the most damage. So just check out the internet. I can make another video on this too if you want to. Just let me know in the comments below. But just check out the internet. Check um, some fact sheets where you can see which are the best heroes because they deal more damage because they are specifically like dealing um, physical damage or magic damage. And that's where this monster is week two so just google it and see what works best um for the specific monster let's get to the Colosseum. i still have one entry left and i'm going to keep this because i can't defeat um one of the opponents here i am pretty sure i won't find a guard right now but sometimes there is this guard 2000 showing up so in the beginning when you start newly uh, you're basically always going to defeat everybody but as soon as you're getting to higher ranks uh, then just wait for a god 2000 to show up uh, that happens when somebody leaves the kingdom and this god has like 1100 um, strength you're always going to beat him so just wait for him then you can take his place that is pretty easy and you can get some more gems um, by climbing the Colosseum ranks. Speaking of gems, um, keep them as soon as you have VIP 8 or 9. So um, VIP 9 is pretty awesome. If you are checking this, you get 12 more percent player XP boost. Um, of course, I'm just speaking for free to play people. Um, you can use your gems to get VIP points. I think it is worth in the beginning to get some early level VIP because you're just spending like 1000 gems and you can get two VIP levels and you can have some more free acceleration but don't use them later on because as you can see I'm needing um, 90,000 VIP points and that's pretty much not worth spending the gems. Okay, next thing I want to talk about using your speed ups. So... When you check the solo event, here, merge packs, train soldiers, 
Hell event merge packs and research. So for example, when I'm looking at my merging right there, um, I still have 70 hours left. 17 hours left. So that's not worth speeding up. If I would have like one and a half hours left, I probably would have uh, used my speed up right there to collect at least um, the rank two, I guess, from the solo event and probably rank one from the hell event. No, maybe rank one. I don't. I'm not sure. But if you, for example, have a five days research running. And it's still five hours left and you have a hell and solo event that is based on research then just use your speed ups uh, to collect the um, bony you're getting there and bonus items just don't waste your um, speed ups and the beginning save them for as i said hell event solo event or for your um, guild fest because a gu active guild is a very important thing and that's basically the next thing i want to um I want to go to look for an active guild. I got this guild. Um, you have a nice um, guild level, guild gift level, and active members. This is really important because you're getting a lot of items, a lot of um, speed ups. This is really important and save your coins. Sometimes you want to get to a new guild uh, that is based in another kingdom, and you have to get a. Um, where is it? Migration scroll. So always buy one, have one in your inventory or save your guild coins to get one. Because when your guild moves to another uh, kingdom because they don't want to stay here or the other kingdom is better, you probably want to move with them. And if you don't have the guild coins, then this is pretty shitty. Okay, so the next thing... Um, I want to talk about really quick is you have the chance to win games via the Instagram posts of um, I got games. I don't do that because um, yeah, I don't want to comment under every Instagram post, but you can do just post your Instagram ID, uh, your, your in-game ID and you have the chance to win some games. Uh, I don't just do that. Yeah. Um, the next thing always shelter or shield. So if there is somebody attacking your, um, your guild or you then you probably should shelter them unless for example you can see um i got 1.5 million resources protected so i'm going to lose 150 thousand uh, food and 63 thousand um gold that's not the problem but always shelter your troops so i got um at the moment my leader of course that is really important uh, and 130 thousand uh, troops in my shelter one thing, if even if you go on um, attacking somebody or something, shelter at least one guy with your leader to keep him safe at all the time. Because if your leader gets captured and executed, then you're probably not going to see your leader for 10 days or something like that. And that is not that good. Because you can't ch change your equipment. You can't use the active boosts. Um, for example, like I'm using here the um, food production rate. You can change between research speed and um, and construction speed. Yeah, that's um, basically yeah worst worst scenario ever. Next thing, talking about the research speed. Upgrade your cabinet. You can do that. It costs one thousand gems. It's worth it, and always try to get some equipment i don't know how many troops you have if you're needing the food production i needed this so i did something um for this as well but the most important thing is probably research speed so look for a helmet something for your chest and for basically every category uh, something that increases the research speed you can see it's here 2.5 uh, 1.15 1 so basically the lunar flute is the best one just get this Upgraded as high as possible. Same thing. Okay, here's just one. Same thing here for the cavalry mail. Maybe the terror shield is better. Um, but it's of course harder to get and you have to be level 60. But use this. You can here uh, see everything that you can get. Um, I think the most important one is research and construction speed. Maybe you are you want to get something else. 
if you want to take a lot of other castles then maybe you're going to need infantry or cavalry or i don't know attack boost for your for your troops but invest in research speed and construction speed especially research speed because that takes a lot of time okay next thing always do all the cargo ship trades always do um, all the admin quests all the guild quests and your daily quest until you get the last chests a uh, chest um, in the cargo ship you basically don't lose any resources because you're always trading better so you're basically trading like 1.5 million um, wood for 2.5 million stones and on the other hand you're trading like those 2.5 million stones for 4 million um, wood again so uh, you're not going to lose out on the cargo ship trades and the last thing I want to talk, of course, when you get later into the game, it doesn't get, it changes a bit. But for me, for example, I'm using currently um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight farms. I'm going to delete uh, this lumber mill as well because I got a, a lot of troops and I want to save my food. But that depends really on how active you're going to build your troops. But one thing, don't build too many um, too many barracks. I just I'm just using one, I guess. Um, yeah, I'm just using one. You don't need it um, because I can uh, have a maximum of two thousand and eighty soldiers um, trained at once, and that's totally enough because it takes thirteen hours, and you don't you don't want to train or you don't need to train troops for like five days um that's just unnecessary get some infirmaries especially if you're going to attack a lot of opponents and get mainers because you're really needing the gold for research and for the the equipment and this also increases increases the training speed of your troops so i basically got everything made out of mainers uh, and some infirmaries um yeah that's basically it uh, for you heroes try to get as many heroes as possible i don't have the watcher yet um maybe i'm going to get him once but try to get all the heroes as quick as possible because they give a lot of nice boosts and you can choose between what heroes you want to use for the monster hunt Okay, so uh, that's it. I hope I didn't forget anything. If I forgot something really, really important, let me know in the comments below. Share it with the other guys. Um, but that's it for things I wish I knew when starting to play Lords Mobile. So um, basically a beginner's guide on what you really want to keep a look at. I hope it was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. If I did so, if you want to see more of those videos, please consider subscribing. Please leave a thumbs up. Hope you enjoyed it. See you at the next video. Bye.